come here hd 660s um i've climbed into this this is real it's not a backdrop i can actually take the things off there in case you're wondering um i have to restart this review because i've just filmed the entire thing it's probably 40 minutes long uh i discussed the background and why i picked that because the low end has got girth um but then i had a realization mid-review of these these are called the ovidius and Lynn Soul sent them to me. And I thought, what the fuck's an Ovidius? That sounds like something that, you know, an IM would be named after. And you watch me at the beginning of this video, I think if I edited in, fixing the noise problem. Much better now. Simply used a roll of felt tape. If you don't have any of this at home, this is great. You put this in the bottom like your keyboard or something and it just makes everything better. So I felt taped these little slots here because there's some build issues, there's some issues with these headphones that I gotta work out. But if you're looking at the title of this video, um, Eureka, I had a Eureka moment. I need to talk about it now. If you're a gamer, what's up gamers, bro? I'm about to blow your fucking minds, bro. Um, when I did the 660 review, which is one of my most popular videos, I talked about their ability to be used in gaming. And these were, quite aggressive actually compared to like the 600s and the ones that have come before it in this chassis and I loved them for it like you turned it up loud and I couldn't get enough gaming well take these and just throw them in the trash because holy fuck let me tell you what the name the full name of these is not just the Ovidius it's the Ovidius TX901 combat armor and if you look on the, on the webpage here, these, by the way, um, for those of you who are looking like, hey, Zios, how much does a headphone cost? Because I want to play games. This is $500. So Lin Soul's like, here's a $500 planer that no one's fucking heard of called the nine Davidian TX-901. The, 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 the TX-901 combat armor is a Terminator fucking denomination. That's the, something that you put in a machine that kills you. And it makes perfect sense now. Let me let me unplug the balance setup. We'll put it back to that in a bit. But I'll go back to the, the stock cable. It's, just do it. I used to do this all the time. There's Where's the box? I have the box. The bo here's the box. This is what they arrived in. Shitty cardboard with velour. And I'm like, um, what? Who the fuck's Ovidius? Why are you in my house? And then it, it dawned on me during the last taping of this review, the actual purpose. Because I had like a, a, a blank vision of like, okay, how do these sound? Uh, I'm a person who reviews headphones and speakers and amps for music purposes usually. And sometimes I'll dabble in gaming. I haven't gamed like hardcore in years. But I know what I want personally in a gaming headphone. And then I know that there's two schools of thought. Either you're doing very specific, precise movements. Like you need to like hear footsteps in the most delicate ways. And that's one thing. Then there's people who want like just big, wide, fun headphones that are comfortable that you could play, you know, play a game. You get shot in the head, but it feels amazing. And these are like the chosen one where they are perfectly in the middle between those two. And I, I have a, a, a track on here. Mm, squad. <sighs> Suicide Squad. So let's see. Realistic. We, uh, yes. I have a track called Squad Realistic War Sounds, which is comes off a YouTube video because I can't... Like, I don't have a gaming computer down here. I have to bring it upstairs. I have to use it for gaming. and have to get in the way of me doing actual work. So I literally just have uh, an audio recording of Squad Realistic War Sounds yanked off of YouTube. And it's very good. It's It's got, you know, explosions. It's got distant explosions, close explosions, flyovers, you know, sounds. No actual... There's some footsteps, I think, somewhere in that 14 minutes. And I put it on. And I turned it up. And I proceeded to literally jump at, at like 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 holy fuck like what is that because you know you could turn put any headphone on and then turn up the volume and it was loud but there's a delivery of sound that these headphones can fucking do that i've not heard since the 660s in fact we'll put these up here in fact, here you go 
since the 660s, where I put those on and I'm like, these are pretty good for gaming. They're nice and neutral, but they're, they can get really loud. Like they can get really lo like loud, like, oh my God. And in gaming, like if you're doing fucking gaming gaming, it's like, wow, these are fantastic. Not quite full of low end, but fantastic for like tearing into your fucking heart and saying, you're now in a war zone. So welcome to Big Daddy Ovidius, Combat Armor Edition. The wire is, in no less words, like spectacular for what they are. It's not not the nicest connector. Three and a half millimeters, fine. With a little knurling. Then you've got like a, a twisted fabric. You got a twist, a double twisted pair in fabric, pin straight. If you don't know, that's really annoying when you get a, a headphone wire out and it's a fucking coolie coo, curly curly coo, bouncy bounce like the fucking Mezze lyrics, which is the only problem with that headphone. Into a nice, uh, you know, chrome split into two, two and a half millimeters with lots of knurling and RNL indicators. And that's because the headphones themselves, you plug the wires into these rods that the cups are attached to. And the cups rotate the rod and then swivel on the rod and even twist front and backwards. So there's like this motion and then this motion and then this motion. And while that can make it feel like a little bit wiggly, like what the hell's going on, when you put it against your head, no matter what orientation things are, it sort of just settles perfectly. So no points deducted, except for the fact that it was noisy and I had to put some felt tape back here in these grooves to make that not happen. Um, the pads are spectacularly thick, like thick, like, like, like dense foam, dense memory foam. You put them on and it's like, ugh. The clamp is is not linear at all, which is, a, at least they're open like this. When you have a hard clamp and it's like closed and you're like, ugh, and they, they slam against your head like, like, I don't know, like 660s fucking, it was like, it was like uh, you could see them like in pain as I open them up. These start with a much wider gap. They start neutral there. So when you pull them over your head, it's sort of like it gives you just the right amount of clamp to get these nice and snug against your head. The look at this leather strap on top. That is that is some shit right there. And it's spring loaded, so you just put it on and you pull it down until it fits your head and it just stays there because the clamp and everything balance out. See how they just like flop around? It's like I don't know if that's a good or a bad thing. And I review headphones for a fucking living. So let's plug the wires back in. We've got them on this flux, flux amp, um, which is all Ukrainian equipment, by the way. I, I brought it all out to demo it. Clip it, listen to that click. Listen to that like, mm. there's quality in here. They cost enough that it's like, things are of quality. This whole back, none of this is plastic. This is all aluminum. This is a planar driver. I pulled out the. I pulled it out. There's a, a thin sheet of foam and some fabric, and these pads and the planar driver encompasses the entire section because it's 100 millimeters. And so there's your build. You got your spring steel. You got your beautiful fucking headband. You got the plugs. You plug it in. You put it on your head. Are we playing a squad or did I pause it? I think I paused it. Turn this up. I have to put this on DAC. Wait for it. There we go. So, if you're here for the music review of these headphones, I'll get that out of the way in like the next 60 seconds. These have incredibly tight, firm low end. And that's their thing. That's what, that's all they really bring to music is if you want an aggressive planar music bass note, these headphones. The mid-range, meh. And the highs are pretty spectacularly accurate. Like, they get up there. I, I described it, the first thing, it's like a V-shaped headphone where there's bass, mid-range, and treble. Only, instead of it being the amount of bass and the amount of treble, it's the quality of it. Like, it usually doesn't vary across the spectrum, but in these it does. So the quality of the bass is absolutely absurd. Then the mid-range is eh, and then the highs are absolutely v, like amazing highs. But the mid-range, like where you'd hear vocals and people singing and la 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 la, is sort of just average. I've never had a headphone do that to me. So let's get back to music. How does it handle music? If it's a bassy song, you can enjoy it. Like, wow, these are fucking pounding my head right now. 
And then the treble comes in. It's like, all right, there's not much soundstage. They, they don't go super far out. The driver is basically on your ear. So you're like, okay, I'm, feel, I'm feeling this. I'm feeling it. Where do we go from here? I'm feeling it. But I, I never actually sat down and like enjoyed music on it. I was just sort of astonished at how the low end was being presented and how good the highs could be in certain songs. So I'm like, all right, I'm going to give these a mediocre review. Yeah, Zeos is going to talk about them. And then Zeos put on the squad realistic war sounds. Wait. Now, we've got a couple of events going on in the world where, you know, the sounds of war are probably not what people should be wanting to hear in their headphones. And it sucks. But games are games, and that shit is in there. And if you ever wanted to actually get PTSD, this is the way to do it for $500. May I recommend buying a Ukrainian amplifier to accomplish that? Holy shit. I will link to this Squad Realistic War Sound YouTube video if it's still on online. Because I don't have it playing like exceptionally loud, but the dynamic range, dynamic range is, is like, okay, something can play quiet and something can play loud. And if the dynamic range is small, it's the range. It's how quiet and how loud. And the bigger the dynamic range, usually the more audiophilia, only audiophallic it is. Holy shit. These headphones when you set them at the right volume, play low sounds very clearly, very accurately. You know exactly where things are, exactly where the sounds of things are. But then when an explosion happens, um, your whole core just literally gets shocked. And it's like, wait, do I have to lower it? It's not really, it, it, doesn't, it doesn't sound loud, it's loud. These are realistically loud volume tones. Like, I'm, my body is convulsing involuntarily. On a, on a brighter note, let's listen to Nero's Doomsday. Oof. Yeah, they're almost too close and aggressive for, for like, ab like, pure music enjoyment. I have other headphones I could pick from. I, uh, I'm going to even link to the Sivga Apollos or the Sendi Apollos. Because those are wide and a little bass light, but my God, they put you in this space with the music around you. These put you in a high school locker, which you are shoved into with the music around you. And at any moment, you're going to enjoy the low end and you're going to enjoy the highs without being hurt by them. That's the thing. You're going to hear highs and it's not going to hurt real bad. And you're gonna hear the lows, and you're gonna, it's not like boomy, bloated bass. This is very precise. This is precision bass. Tight, precision bass. And with music, I just, I feel like it's one of those things like, I wanna hear this song with it, but I don't wanna actually listen. I just wanna hear what it'd be like. Gaming, hardcore fucking gaming, that's where these live. If you're a crazy psychopath that wants to spend $500 on a gaming headset, you previously spent $500 on 660s. If you ever gamed in 660s and you're like, what's the next step up, Zeos? I haven't had an answer for you till today. Today's, today is where that answer comes out. Just spit on that. Thank God we're filming in higher resolutions. So you could see me spit on things. Um, yeah, no, those... I still love those headphones. Those are more ca capable of doing s music listening because they're a little bit neutral. They're very balanced and you put them on and they're not quite as neutral as the 600s and they do some really, really good things with the highs and the low end is, is just not really there, but it's fine. These are murder, 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 every sound and you enjoy the shit out of it. So I, I think that's the end of this video. There's, because I, if you can't music in them, like you can, I can, but uh, it's not like, they didn't blow my mind. It was like, oh my God, you have to hear this fucking thing on it. These didn't start rocking my world until I put on video games. Once video games became part of it, once actual sound, just sound pressure levels and dynamic range for sound pressure levels came into the actual focus of why I would recommend them, that's the only reason to recommend them. And they do require a bit of push like this flux 
is pretty strong. But now if we go and we switch over to the balanced output, because this is a heart audio cable, uh, eighth inch adapters, no, 2.5 millimeter. Plug those in there, because they have to have the little skinny thing. And these click in there pretty nicely too. And sound like an old boat a little bit. And I put this back to headphone amp. I can't believe how much low end they have and how well it delivers it. Granted, this is through music. I don't hate it with music. It's just I'm not my first choice for 500 bucks. You can do, we could do better. Shit, I gotta play video games with these now. I gotta play video games with these now. I have to, I have to dust off my goddamn Planet Side 2 account and go be a light assault and just get wrecked. I'm just gonna get wrecked. I wanna hear the tanks. Um, I'm done with the shit that's happening in the world. I don't wanna keep going on about realistic war sounds and explosions and shooting. It's not, it's fucked up because we haven't had like a real world conflict. Like, a, like there's been Afghanistan and there's been like things like that, but this is like, this shouldn't have happened. I know why it happened. It's very political. If you ever watch House of Cards, you know all that bullshit. But it ruins my ability to speak about, oh, war games are fun. They are fun. War games are fun. In fact, most games are first-person shooter, shooty, shoot games. So would these work for those? Yes, absolutely. Do I recommend you consider supporting the locals there and buy equipment from them because think about it these are some of the best pieces of equipment i've ever gotten on this channel the tor amps the rebel amp which was literally flux and rebel were like oh they stole our design and oh ours is superior and here and they're both great and this is great and now we have to fucking watch the news and hope that when all of this is over if it ends for whatever good or bad side you're on, that we could still get things like this. So this is like a touching memorial of like, yay, war sounds, but also, eh, war sounds. So I'm done. I'm gonna end this. Yeah, uh, these will definitely be appearing in my 2022 revision of the Game Fidelity uh, video. How to, how to audio file your way to good sounding games. Because I think these are gonna be... These are like the ones. They're comfy. You can't really get a mic on them unless you put it in some weird spot, but shit. Shit. All right. Patreon and subscribe star. Support this channel. If you've liked this channel, you want me to do more things about games, throw money at me and then I'll actually listen to you. Otherwise, you're just some pleb in the comments. Hi, plebs in the comments, by the way. I love you all equally. Um, See reviews early, participate in yard sales, uh, get lots of sound demos. Sound, yard sales happen from the 1st to the 10th of every month. I ship free USA and Canada, half shipping international. Um, if you go for $10 a month on Patreon or subscribe, so you get into the private Telegram chat where you could ask me questions directly. Why am I shaking my finger like that? You can ask me questions directly. You can also get into a lifetime swap meet channel where you could buy, sell, and trade gear. If you want, like, hey, I've got this set of scissors. Who will give me headphones for it? And then you wait and someone will trade you headphones for it. Maybe. I don't know. That has, I haven't seen that happen in there yet. But might. Um, uh, Hi-Fi Guides and the Hi-Fi Guides forums. Is there a gaming section in the Hi-Fi Guides forums? I should check. I should also leave the Hi-Fi Guides forums up to check. Um, that wallpaper is available for download in the description. It is a 21 by 9 wallpaper. So if you have a widescreen monitor, you could put it sideways or crop it for your phone unless you have a cool phone like mine that is 21 by 9 or join the uh wall base hoard the uh all the wallpapers I've ever used and you can search out the original artists on iqdb or sauce now and go reverse image search them and find those original artists um i'm done there's a sound demo for these don't remember how good it came out Check for that link in the description as well. That's on, that's hosted on the second channel, which does other weird videos that are not main channel material, but still interesting. Uh, it's more me stuff. Like I can do anything I want there because it's the second channel. Who gives a shit? If you've joined that channel, you're there for the weird things. Anyway, I'm done. I got to clean up all the remnants of the, uh, the felt tape that I used to silence that shaking. I got to write a review now of these on Linsol because there's nothing. The fact that I got these like months ago they say they're pre-order for December 2021, and three months later, no one's written anything, any reviews. 
I have to tell the world, the TX901 combat armors are legitimately, if I minimize this, you get better colors, are legitimately for combat and only combat, basically. Oh, also John Wick 1 was the best John Wick because it was cool.